guys, it's your girl April and Rosie. And we are here to do a new treat snack box monthly subscription. So we were sent this box here, which is called Treats Explore the World Through Food. So this month is South Africa, and this box, like Mumsy would say, is promising. You know how you'd be like, looks promising, girl. It looks promising. <laughs> so yes, this box looks pretty darn promising. We are like excited about I know I'm excited about this box. I don't know about her, but yes. Cute yeah, box. You are too? It looks good, right? So, yes, this box is South Africa, and um, they got some good chocolates up in here. And we had this box for a minute, so, you know, a couple of weeks. Like, a couple of weeks, right? So, we are ready to, um, like, go through the box. Yes. Like, full of chocolates. Everything is from South Africa. And, like Mumsy said, everything looks so promising. So, first of all, on here, this is the Enter Mystery Box Giveaway. So Treats is hosting a mystery box giveaway. The prize is a giant box of the best snacks they've discovered. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is enter is share something about Treats. For example, a picture of your box, your experience with Treats, a fact about a snack that you received. You can do it on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Each platform you share counts as an additional entry in the contest. So you can actually do it on all of the platforms. Hashtag your post with hashtag try treats and mention at try treats so we can mark your entry. And at the end of the month, the winner will be contacted and sent a giant mystery box of treats. Okay, so this is really amazing. However, there is a disclaimer, like with every company, the um, giveaway is only open to existing treat subscribers and US residents. So on the back, it does tell you what's in the box. And this, like I said, is South Africa. And it just tells you what's in the box, what it's made of. So just in case you have any type of food allergies, you can always refer to the packaging, but also the ingredients on the um, on each um, particular food item is also listed as well. So the sleeve, so it has this really pretty scenery of Cape Town in South Africa, which is gorgeous, like the mountains. You see all those lights? Not really. Oh, you need your glasses with the lights. You see them? Pretty, right? Mm-hmm. That's pretty. And then it just basically tells you about the um, country that it came from on the back. So it's more or less like a really pretty postcard. And I will also list how much the um, box is down below for you guys. So you get to choose first. So this is a honey almond nougat bar wrapped in edible rice paper. I heard of nougat before. Nougat. I thought it said nugget. But you know. Oh. Okay, so I guess this is the rice paper that it's wrapped in. It is sticky. It looks like it's going to be like taffy. And the paper, you can't eat the paper, right? No, because mm -hmm. it says rice paper. Okay, I don't know. But first things first, for this one right here, this honey almond nougat wrapped in edible. Oh, it is edible. Edible oh. rice paper. Um, Doesn't look too edible. No, I don't want to eat this, but okay. Once you buy it, you don't even taste it, the white oh. paper. I was really going to sit there and try to take it all off, but it was just sticking to it. Mm. It's okay. It just really doesn't have a taste like that. It just tastes like marshmallow. I'm not even like marshmallow. Not to me. It don't have a taste. But I don't like the whole fact about eating rice paper. It's like, because when you, when you bite into the paper, it feels like you're eating paper. But then you don't taste it no more. Mm. My turn. I want to try this TV bar, and it's just a milk chocolate bar with coconut, crunchy rice puffs, and smooth milk chocolate. Um, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat this because it says tropical, tropical coconut, okay. and I'm allergic to it. So, I hate good, coconut. see, I it, good thing I read it because I, I read it well before we did the video. It smells good. Well, you can tell me how it tastes. Oh, it's nice and soft. It looks like a candy bar. Sure about the coconut? I don't like coconut. You probably ain't gonna taste it, but I can't eat it because I'm gonna swell up. It's coconut. It looks like it tastes good. It doesn't taste good. No. Not at all. Like, what is it? Here's the napkin for you. It tastes like um. It does, tastes chocolate. Does it taste like a Snickers candy bar? Or no, that's what it looks like to me. It tastes like chocolate, 
And then it tastes like it tastes like these are cereal. Oh yeah. And then you get some coke and it doesn't taste too good at all. Mmm. Cause it makes it dry. Oh, did it? Oh, okay. Show them what you chose. <laughs> Okay, so one night I had munchies, all right? Yeah. I tried a little bit of piece of it, too. You did, too? Oh, okay, so we both win. It was, like, not a couple of... Well, not in January, so... Oh. Yeah, I had the munchies one night, and I wanted something sweet. Mm -hmm. But it do taste good, so it is the mm -hmm. Milo um, Nestle, Nestle Milo Bar. It's... um. Choc choco malt and milk chocolate. It's really good. This is really good, right? It kind of tastes like a crunch bar to me. Yeah, like a Rice Krispie Crunch. Not a Rice Krispie, but a crunch, crunch bar. Yeah. Like a Nestle Crunch Bar. Mm -hmm. She was sleeping when I tried, and I was like, oh, well, she don't know about her. <laughs> this, bar this box is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to try this. It's a... Oh, you know what? I had one of these the other night. Well... There's three of them. Are you trying all the foods before I we make the video? I was hungry and I wanted something sweet. sweet. And we have nothing but the box. And so I was like, <laughs> I'ma just eat one. There's three of them. She ain't gonna know. But then I told her myself. And it was really good. It, it kind of reminded me of like a, a flavored Tootsie Roll. You know what I'm saying? I hate Tootsie Rolls, but I like Not the, the chocolate ones. one, the flavored ones. So this is the Fizzer, and it's a cream soda flavor taffy. It looks like, um, it reminded me of a, um, like a flavored Tootsie Roll. It was pretty good. I laid in bed and chewed it, you know. <laughs> you know. You're anything, that's why. I know. Want that Yeah. The only thing I don't like about it is. Hard to rip, right? I don't like candy that's hard like that. Oh. And I like Tootsie Rolls, but only the flavor one, but they be hard too. Like a sour like. Sour like. Days. Oh my god, they get hard. Mm -hmm. The brown ones really get hard. The brown Tootsie yeah, Rolls, really right? Like they get hard like what like and like they they I think the you buy, you buy them. them. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that the day you buy them, them things be like hard. They be like brick hard. They mm -hmm. break your teeth hard. Mm-mm. I'm gonna do those ones. Mm. It's alright, right? right? I used to like the wrong tootsie rolls, but I don't know. I don't like them anymore. No, me either. Okay, so that is a wonder, wonder bar. A wonder bar. Yep. There you go. Okay, and what is it made out of? Milk chocolate. Smooth milk chocolate. Smooth. What well, kind of looks like a bounty chocolate bar? Those know. are sold in Canada. Oh, how do you know about Canada candy? <laughs> You live in, um, I'm about to say you live in Mexico. Because I watch, um, YouTubers that live in Canada. Yeah, keep watching other YouTubers, okay? <laughs> I keep telling her about that. Talking about her favorite YouTubers. Who? Oh, what's his name? Um, Joey Cosefia? No. Miranda? No, what's not my favorite. Who? David Perry. Oh, this is nasty. Okay. David Perry? David Perry? He lives in Canada. Mmm. Alright, so David Parody, you are my daughter's favorite YouTuber. And I'm really not feeling that. Because if anybody should be her favorite YouTuber, <laughs> it should be me. Or mess yourself. Or mess mess yourself? Yes. Mess yourself? Yeah, that's his name. What kind of name is that? Mess yourself. That's like poop on yourself. <laughs> mess yourself. Who names himself yeah. Mess Yourself? <laughs> I thought it was Joey Crisepia. Did I say his name right? Joey Crisepia. When is Muffin Is My Lover going to be your favorite YouTuber? Um, I just, I just subscribed so you can get the golden play button. Wow. Did she just say, I just subscribed so you can get the golden play button? Really, silver. though? Really, though? You're close. Yeah, I'm like 2,000 away <laughs> from that. But wow, yo, like her one little freaking subscribe button gonna matter. I'm asking to be your favorite. The heck with subscribing to my channel. But you're my, you're, you're my favorite mother. I'm your favorite mother? I get to be her favorite mother. I'm the only mother. I know that. So I should be your favorite. In general, I should be your favorite person. I'm going to be your favorite YouTuber, and that's all there is to it. Okay, you're my favorite. So mess yourself. What's the other person's name? David Parody and then Wolfie Raps. 
David Parody and Wolfie Raps. Yes. <laughs> You are no longer on her favorite list, her playlist. It's me. It is going to be all Muffin Is My Lover's videos, okay? Now, next thing. So, I'm going to choose this here. Um, I don't really know what this is, but it's called Flings. Yeah. Original flavor, my Z snack. Good to know. Baked, not fried. No. Azo dye, trans fat free. Um, we about to try this out. I don't really know what it is. It just, they look like cheese puffs. Are they smoke rolls? They're like cheese. Okay, good. It tastes like cheese puffs. It's like cheese puffs, right? Fling. Now your turn. However, mm -hmm. Hold up. That acid Yep. You want oh. some water? A little dry. And it just, I don't know. I didn't like the taste of it. So what are you going to choose? Some mini biscuits. Some cheddar minis. Mm -hmm. Some Tex Nestle bars like a chocolate wafer. And it has rich, creamy. Rich, creamy Nestle milk chocolate with Aereo Century Center and filled biscuit. Filled biscuit wafer. In British Aereo, is that the actual type of chocolate? It's, it's a biscuit. It's a biscuit wafer. A biscuit wafer. I know, but Aereo, because it has the word Aereo, it's actually in a British, in British, this is a type of chocolate. Oh, is it? How the freak you know all that? Um, I had to watch my mouth for a second. <laughs> I was about to use the bad word because I'm really interested in knowing how she know all of this stuff. Because, um, mess yourself the taste test of just British chocolate. Who? Mess yourself. Mess yourself? Yes. I don't want to hear about no other YouTubers. It's like, um, I'm feeling tight jealous right now. A chocolate filled with, like, um, Pop Rocks, kind of. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mess yourself. It's, like, green on the inside. Oh. That don't taste too bad, though. It's awful little though. I would prefer it to be a little bit bigger, but it's not too bad, right? <laughs> Mini tennis biscuits. These are so cute because it's such a little bag. I'm gonna give these to Tinky. <laughs> they look like little shortbread cookies. Yo, go. Pink in them? Mm -mm, no, that's just a picture. Oh. Yeah, it's just a highlight of the picture. Oh. They're good. These would be good with coffee for those of you who love coffee. Um, but. They just taste like little shortbread cookies. They're really good. These are cute for like little toddlers and stuff. Mm, they're good, right? Get these to think why she likes them. Yeah. Drink coffee? No, I don't like coffee. Oh. What is that? So we got two of those. It is a Sanho de Valsa mm -hmm. Lata. My language is not good. Or my reading skills for different languages are not that great. But for some reason, I'm feeling like it's some type of chocolate. <laughs> Me too. Oh, that's cute. I wonder what's in the middle of it. It's kind of. You can't hear it. It's hollow. Is it? Now there's something in there. I know. Hear it's it? hollow in the sense. It's hollow on the inside, but there's something in it. Ooh. Like the rich kid. I was getting ready to say that. <laughs> it's like the rich kid candy that we like to eat. Uh, Ferrero Rocher, whatever you, however you say it. It tastes like it a little bit, right? That's snob life candy. You know, snobby, bougie. Yes, and they individually wrapped too. Rich Kid Candy. Mmm, it's good, right? It tastes like the Rich Kid Candy. It melts in your mouth a little bit. It tastes like the, the Rich Kid Candy. So we got two more things to taste. I love the way other countries be calling cookies biscuits, like biscuits. And here, biscuits is biscuits. So we're going to try these cheddar things because I just ate something sweet, so I want to try these. These look like little Ritz crackers. Mm -hmm. I thought these were like the squares. Mmm, girl. It tastes stale. Right? Don't they taste old? Like an old... They taste like a, um, a store cracker. They taste like... They taste like the kids didn't close the pack all the way, and now they taste stale. Like, okay, so Mumsy was like, "Cause it is stale." 
no, no. Best before March 13, 2017. It was made August 15, 2016. So they're not stale, but. They were stale for a second. They don't taste the good. Bottom. They taste nasty. Them is, these are not good. And I didn't taste no cheese in them at all. Mm. Trust me, I have had some stale crackers that the kids didn't close. And it was I was like, oh, they taste like cabinet. You ever eat like some stale chips and they taste like the inside of the cabinet wood for some reason? Like, I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but yes. No. Yo, know, like, oh, you can smell it too. Like the chips be smelling like the cabinets, like the wooden cabinets. I don't know. Kind of gross. I know. So the last one is these flavored cream biscuits that we have. Oh, this is a lot of cookies in here. Like, for real, we could just share this. Okay. You know what, for cookies like this, I need some milk. Because mm -hmm. I like to make a sauce. Mm -hmm. Like Oreos? Mm-hmm. Oreos are the best with some milk. <laughs> they should have like a South African Oreo. It tastes like it got, um, what do you call those cookies? Um, ginger snap cookies or something like that, like... I don't know, but I don't really like the chocolatey taste. Like, it's not nasty, yeah. but... It's nasty. But yeah. I don't really like it too much. So, yeah, these these biscuits are really not what I like. So, that was the box, our taste test for treats. They had some really cool stuff. Like I said, this month was South Africa. You can check them out. If you already get a box from them, then make sure that you enter the win the giant box of treats. Other than that, I will list everything that I know down below for treats. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me and Mumsy. We have a blast doing these. Sometimes, you know, stuff be good. Sometimes it don't. But either way. But I'm going to have to have a little talk with Mumsy right now because I'm really not feeling the fact that I'm not the favorite YouTuber, like everybody in this house should feel like I am their favorite YouTuber. So on that note, we love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye. I'm not your favorite? You're my favorite, okay? You're my favorite. No, now I'm your favorite. <laughs> Wow, that was real nice. Pity. I'm a pity, sympathy favorite. Pity favorite. <laughs>